All right. So I just wanted to thank everyone, first of all, for being here. You have your whole night and you chose to come here and listen to me, which is cool. Um, it's just so nice to see so many faces on here too. If you're on here and you have your face hidden, um, if you could show us your beautiful face, that'd be awesome. I mean, if, if you're doing something that you don't want us to see you, that's fine. But I just like to see everyone's faces because I don't like talking to uh, little gray little things. Um, but anyway, <laughs> so I wanted to start this call. First, I'm going to uh, do a little recognition for our team, and then I'm going to dive on into some organization stuff. So I'm going to share my screen with you. It's on my Canva. So I'm organized, but my desktop is not. So <laughs> um, I just wanted to give a shout out to uh, Emmy and Carolyn for being our coaches of the week. They have both helped three people. I started calling Success Club the Three Lives Change Club because it's just an easier way to look at it. Like, you need to help three people than like, oh, I need to sell three challenge packs. So from now on, we're calling it the Three Lives Change Club, and that's what it says on the board. So Emmy and Carolyn are tied for coach of the week with six Success Club points. And then we have Lauren Avon with four. Bethany Buffington with two, Nora Merlino with two, Sasha McNeely with two, and Sarah Wines with one for right now. And it's early still, so if you still haven't gotten your Success Club points, don't worry. Um, you have the whole month ahead of you. You have up until 11.59 on December 30th or 31st. I don't remember how many days are in December, but um, yeah. So you have the whole month ahead of you to make your goals happen. But I just like to recognize uh, those girls on our team. All right, so let me make this bigger. Okay, now can you still see like me? Yes. Like, can you see the uh, the presentation or do you not see anything? I can see the presentation. Okay, cool. All right, so let's get organized, yo. All right, that's what we're learning about today, getting organized. And I'm not an expert in organization, but I am, um, I found ways that work for me. So I want to share them with you. And I want you to know like everything I'm sharing today, you don't have to go and change what you're doing because everything that I do might not work for you. But I just want you to take bits and pieces and share maybe with somebody on your team that you think it might work for them. But just know that you don't have to do everything exactly how I do it. I'm just offering you some tips and tricks for um, what's worked for me. So today, I just, topics, um, I figured why not organize the presentations about organization. So we're going to talk about your must-do list or a to-do list. I like to call it a must-do list because if it's to-do, it's like maybe I'll do it. So a must-do, like I got to get it done. Um, timing yourself and anchor habits, which I actually learned about today. So it was a great podcast I happened to listen to today. Um, so I'll teach you about those. And then we're going to talk about organizing your contacts and streak for dummies. So, and there's some humor in this because I don't like boring presentations. So, <laughs> okay. So now this is dating back to my elementary education. So you, there are different things that, different ways to call your must-do list and different ways to categorize the things that you have to do every day as a coach. So there are your must-dos, your may-dos, and your catch-ups. Now, must-dos are things that you need to get done every single day before you go on to doing anything else. So things that could classify as a must-do would be the three vital behaviors, reaching out to people, posting on your social media and being a product of the product and doing your personal development. Those should go in your must do category. Now your may do's are things that you can do after you do your must do's. And those are things like um, maybe you, you like to go on Pinterest and you like to find things for uh, post ideas that could be a may do, or maybe um you are planning a challenge group and you need to plan out your post. Those would be a may do's, but those can only be done once you get your must do's done, which is something that I struggled with a lot because I like to do all the fun, crafty and artsy stuff. So I would always just do that stuff and then never do the things that I actually had to do. 
So if you organize your things you need to do by a certain way where you can't do the things that maybe you like to do more until you do the things that you don't like to do, then that'll really help you get the important things done. And then your catch-ups are things that maybe um, things you just need to catch up on, things that you haven't completed from the day before that you might need to catch up on. Uh, maybe you have a challenge group coming up and you need to catch up on your posts for that. Or maybe you're hosting like a free seven day clean eating and you need to catch up on that. So just things that you can do in addition to your must do's. Um, so this is my everyday list and I organize my list. Like I have it. Well, you can't see it. Um, well, you might be able to, but I have it right here. I'll show you it later. But I organize my list by every day, and then, I, and then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So every day, I'm doing these things. But on Mondays through like every other day, there's certain tasks that I only do on specific days. Because what I used to do was try to do everything every day. And then I was like, I can't do this. Like, I didn't become a beach body coach to be working nine to nine. Like, that's not why I'm doing this. So, and I joke about it because when I had a real job, uh, not that this isn't a real job, I mean like a nine to five job, I was almost more productive because I had less time to get all this stuff done. So I made sure I used my time effectively. And now that I don't work at another job and I just work from home, I'm a little bit more lax. And I've found that having a schedule helps me and make sure I'm getting done everything I need to. So this is my everyday list. The things that I highlighted in yellow are things that I would suggest for you to definitely have on your everyday list. Some of these things that I do, like you might not have to do them as a newer coach, or you may not choose to do them every day, but you don't, like those things are not necessary to do every day. Like I like to do happy birthdays on walls, that's not like a business building thing, but it's just something I like to do every day because it's uh, reaching out to people. It's just being nice, saying happy birthday to people. And I want people to say happy birthday to me when it's my birthday. So I say it to everybody on theirs. Um, so that's just something that I do. But the things that are in yellow are things that you should definitely be doing every day. Responding to your Facebook messages, posting and checking in all your groups and event pages. Uh, checking your sponsorship drill down for orders, doing your personal development. You don't have to do an hour. I, that's just what I choose to do. Uh, doing your workout, Shakeology, posting on Facebook, and coach and challenge group invites are definitely something you want to do every day. Um, what was I going to say? Uh, oh, and as far as responding to all Facebook messages, what I do, I go in my message thing and I make it so it's just all messages, nothing else, like just my messages. I scroll all the way down to the bottom and I start with that one and I just answer all of them so they're all gone. And I do like, if you go to Mark, um, if you go to the messages, you can pick just the unread messages. So you can literally start at the bottom, clear your whole inbox out, and then go back and answer. So if you're in the middle of cleaning out your inbox and somebody responds, I don't respond to that message until I message all of the inbox until it's clean. So that's just a way to not get stuck talking to someone for three hours when you still have all these messages to send out. Now, these are my specific days, like what I do on specific days. So in addition to all of those things I do every day, on Mondays, I listen to the national wake-up call, I do my emails for my leads, I do my follow-ups, and I do 15 minutes of pinning and gathering. So I just go on Pinterest, I give myself 15 minutes, I set a timer, and I just find things that I can pin in my album, so it'll give me ideas for posts, it'll give me some like memes and things that I can share on Facebook. So I have like a nice collection of things for the week to go through. Then on Tuesdays, I check in with all my coaches who are working the business. I do a new coach post in the team page. So anyone who signed up as a coach on our team with me, I do like a nice little post for them. And I try to do them all on Tuesdays. If somebody signs up like on Friday and I feel like posting it on Friday, I'll post it on Friday. I'm not like, no, only Tuesdays. But 
that would be considered like a, a can do. Like I can do that if I get all my other stuff done. But Tuesdays are typically when I do that. Um, I posted my alumni page on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Uh, that's where I have all of my challengers who have completed a program with me. And it's more of like a, a less intensive kind of challenge group. And then I do my close to diamond updates on Tuesday. Uh, Wednesdays, follow-ups, team calls, success club point check-ins with coaches, leadership, uh, leaderboard post, and coach of the week, and then check-in with my challengers. Thursday is team cycle bonus shout-out posts, mail. Like, I do all my mail. I write my cards in all my mail on Thursdays. Um, posts for the alumni page again, and then more Pinterest. Friday, follow-ups again, checking with challengers, YouTube training videos. I'm a little slacking on that. I need to get back on doing those. Um, Saturday, I do the new coaches. I like I add them to the banner so I don't have to add them all at once um, at the end of the month. And then I post in the alumni page again. And then Sundays, I just check my schedule for the week, like who has calls with me so that I know, and meal planning, in addition to like all the other things. So Sundays, I'm not going to lie, I might be a little more lax with my everydays because that's my day, like, off with um, with James and with my family. So that's my day where I'm like, it's okay if I don't get everything done, but every other day, like, I definitely need to get everything done before I move on. So, um, <laughs> yeah. So the thing that I had trouble with was spending hours and hours and hours on a task that should really only take me 20 minutes. So what I've started doing is setting a timer. And so say I'll go on Instagram. I'm like, I'll give myself 30 minutes to go on Instagram. So I go on Instagram for 30 minutes and I'm doing 531s. I'm looking up uh, different hashtags and stuff. The timer goes off. I put the phone down and I'm done with Instagram. Because if I don't do that, I'll spend like two hours on Instagram. And while that might be good, in some ways, like I might be able to do more 531s but then I'm taking away time from doing other things I need to do as well. So set a timer. I literally have an egg timer on my desk. It's like big and bulky, but it gets the job done. And if you don't have an egg timer, um, a really awesome app you can use is called 3030. And it allows you to set like specific times for specific tasks and you can put them in order. And like when the one is done, it'll move on to the next one. But that one was just like too intense for me. So I just use an old fashioned egg timer. But if it works for you, then you could try that. Okay, so this is pretty cool because I just learned about this today and I wanna start implementing this more into my schedule as well. They're called anchor habits and basically what an anchor habit is, is attaching a new habit to something that you already do that is a habit. So things that everyone already has a habit of doing are waking up in the morning, getting dressed, showering, maybe eating lunch, working out, or you should have a habit of working out. You're a beach body coach, so I had to put that there. Um, driving to work, starting work, those are things that everyone does every single day. So an anchor habit is just adding another thing to that. So for example, when you got you gotta wake up, so I'm gonna say every morning when I wake up, I'm gonna read for 30 minutes. Or every morning when I wake up, I'm gonna drink a bottle of water. Like it could be anything. But since you're already doing something, for you to add something onto that, it's just gonna become automatic. So for ex when I eat my lunch, every time I'm eating lunch, I'm gonna do 30 minutes of five three ones on Instagram. So I'm already gonna eat lunch, so I might as well just add another habit onto that so that it's easier to stick to doing that. Or when I was working a full-time job, every time I drive to work, I'm gonna do my personal development. I can get two things done at once, and it's not an extra thing I need to do. It's just like adding it onto something I'm already doing. So I thought that was pretty neat, and it was cool that it kind of fit in with this, so I just wanted to throw that in there. But you'll, I'm sure you'll find that there are things that you can add on to um, a lot of the habits you're already doing to save you time during the day. And then now we're gonna learn about streak. Um, I had to put that in there, it just made me laugh when I saw it. So <laughs> we're gonna go streaking, guys. No, I'm just kidding. Um, so I didn't have any specific slides for streak because I made like three training videos about it, but I know it's been a big thing what people are asking a lot of questions about. 
how I use it. So I was kind of just planning on showing you like the main pipelines that I use every day and how I use them. And then if anyone had any specific questions about setting it up or anything at all, then um, you can unmute yourself at the end and we can do like a Q and A. But um, I'm gonna start with, first of all, these are in a specific order. So if you have one down here and you wanted to move it, you can click on this little arrow here and you can move it up or down. But I have the ones that I use the most frequently up at the top. And those are my forming pipeline, my dream coaches pipeline, my sales pipeline, and my coaches pipeline, and my leads pipeline. So these are the five that I use the most often. Um, so when I go to my forming one, I'm gonna hide the, well, you can't, there's no emails in there anyway. Um, so these are the people who say I'm talking to them. Um, anytime I send a friend request, I put them here. As you can see, these people did not accept me. I added them November 25th, and that's okay. It's, I'm not going to make a big deal out of it, but they're still in the requested uh, part of the pipeline. Now, any new person, so like say this girl just requested me on Facebook, I added her, she would go a new person. Or um, someone who was uh, on Instagram and they were added to my Facebook, they would be considered a new person. So when I go every day, like some of these have been in here for a while because I either can't find them on Facebook anymore or I don't know what happened to them. But when I go here in the morning, I'm doing my uh, reaching out, like doing my invites. I take the new people, like right now there are none except for one because I just added her. Um, and I reach out to them. So I send them a message. And when I send them the message, as soon as I send it, I will put them in the reached out to so that I know that I reached out to that person and um, I know like where they are so I don't forget to do it. Now, once they're in the reached out to, they stay there until they respond to me. <laughs> so as you can see, a lot of people don't like to respond to me. And it's funny because I... <laughs> You could see how many people I reached out to and nobody answered me yet, but that's fine because there's a lot of people who did. So you can't look at it like I do hear it all the time. Like, oh, I'm messaging people. They're ignoring me and they're not responding me. Nah. Well, keep asking more people because all these freaking people, they haven't answered me yet. And I messaged these people like month, almost a whole month ago, some of these people. So don't think it's like you. People just either aren't seeing your messages or they're just not ready and they're fearful and they don't know what you have to offer. So then once they do answer me and I'm in a conversation with them, they'll go into my form stage. And then after that, form stage two, when I'm like almost ready to ask them to a challenge group or to be a coach. And then when I invite them, they go here. Now, the other pipeline that I have that um, this is for my dream coaches. So this is super helpful because I have up here a like new Wufu app. So anytime uh, someone fills out my application, they'll go in the top. And then once I reach out to them, they'll go in uh, new people. But it's kind of just like a ladder. So once they're in the one, they'll move down to the next one. Um, but I also separate the coaches into, I have a dream coach list. Actually, she signed up, so I need to move her. So like sometimes I'm not on top of it as I should be. Um, then I have people who drink Shakeology uh, on Home Direct who I would like to ask to be a coach. Um, people who are in an event, like she's a coach now too, and I forgot to move her as well. She's on the call. Um, but, but like, it's, it's like important to stay on top of it, but if you don't, it's not going to like completely throw you off. Like, oh, I forgot to move her. But um, I just made another one for her and put her in the coach. Um, but it really, it just helps you organize people and it doesn't mean like, okay, so now you need to go set up a streak and you need to have it exactly the same way that I do. You can have a simple pipeline. Like I can just make a simple one right now. If you do new, you're going to click on this, like the hands, and then you could just do like a contact list. It doesn't have to be anything elaborate. You can, you can change these. You could put like new person. Or you could even do potential coaches, oops, 
and then you can do like potential like challenge pack people and then as you get someone you can add uh sally i don't know sally h and then you can just add people to that so you don't have to have this elaborate thing as long as it works for you that's the most important thing so you can have a potential coaches list and then you can have a place to put um their emails you can have a place to put notes you can really do anything you want with it so these are the five i use the most and they all have the same headings on them so i'm able to transfer people from one state one uh pipeline to the next so what i mean by that is up here it says name first name stage date last updated notes emails like it's in the same order so if i move someone from forming to the coaches all of the information is going to transfer over because it says name first name stage it's like all in the same order but down here for example i have like less complex ones so i have objections so anyone who gave me an objection i have money objections bad timing objections check with spouse objections so it really can just be so simple and then um like for instagram for example this one isn't it doesn't have all of the headings on the top it just says pages to creep on like new instagram people um people that i've done the 531 with people who have responded so and i don't use this one as often as i do any uh, the other ones anymore um but you can really make it any way that you want it doesn't have to be this huge elaborate thing and um, but I want to leave room for questions too. So if anyone, let me, um, let me stop sharing for a second, because I want to make sure I answer everyone's questions about this, or it doesn't have to be about streak. It can be about anything, anything you want to ask me, but I just want to make sure I have time for questions. So if you have a question, just unmute yourself and ask away. Oh no. Oh, I thought I didn't record it. Never mind. I did. We're good. <laughs> Sorry, false alarm. Where do you get the all those? Is that all through Google or Gmail? Oh yeah. So to get the streak, you have to. It's kind of like a not an app. I always forget the word. Um, it's an attachment kind of thing to Gmail. So if you just Google st uh, streak for Gmail, it'll show up, and then you just like add it onto your Gmail. The only thing though, it only works in Google Chrome. So if you're trying to use um, like Safari or Firefox or anything, it won't work for you. You want to use uh, Google Chrome so that it'll have everything like, I don't know, I guess it's like a Google thing. So they, they want you to use Google Chrome. I don't know. But it only works in that uh, format. Okay. And don't don't think that like you need to have this huge thing. I know like it would have been super helpful to have as a new coach because I could have started it like, all right, I'm going to put my list in here. And every time um, somebody I reach out to somebody, I'm going to mark them off. It would have been great. So I set mine up once I had like a business going already. So it did take me longer to set it up. But that doesn't mean that you have to do this. Like when I was working full time. I did pen and paper and that worked really well for me because the night before I went to bed, I did like a brain dump and I was like, okay, who am I going to reach out to tomorrow? And I write their names down and I would reach out to them on my lunch break. And then I would do like, okay, what am I going to post? And I wouldn't go to bed until that post was made in my notes and the, like the picture itself was made so that I could just wake up, copy paste and do it. Cause I had like no time. So it's really the biggest thing about organization is there's no one specific way to do it. It's really what works for you. And if, if any, everything that I said doesn't work for you, don't feel like you need to do it. Like just do what works for you. So yeah, that was, hope that answered your question. <laughs> and you know, all those people, those aren't random like people. No, they're not random people. They're people on Facebook who I've connected through Instagram. I mean, it's a, like I've been coaching for 15 months, so my contacts is a lot bigger than when I started, which makes sense. But yeah, like as you grow and you start reaching out to more people, your contact list will grow with it. Okay. Any other questions? I have an unrelated question about the new success club rule. Uh-huh. 
Um, Sarah and I were just wondering, she asked me, and I don't know, if it's somebody who's ordered in the past not through you and they transfer to your team, does the rule still apply? Do you know? Uh, I would say no. I think it's new customer, like, with you because you look today. Um, it said minus two. I was like, oh, damn it. And then it said exceeded um, success club point amount per person or something. So I think it's just like, it just depends. Like if, if someone orders from me twice, I can't get four points. But if they yeah. ordered from me and then they decided they hated me and signed up with somebody else and ordered from them, I'm sure that that person would get two points from them as well. Okay, that makes sense. I just want to make sure. Thanks. Is that is that what you, wait April said? Is that uh, two after April? Is that what you said? Yes. Okay. I just want to make sure. <laughs> Anything else? I don't know. I don't even know where to start. Like I set up my streak and then I did it for like a week and then I don't do I don't anymore. And I need to. And then oh my god, every time I see yours, it like stresses me out. I'm like, oh. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> like I am not that person. Like my, it would be like form done. Like I don't like, I, I just can't do that many steps. My mind doesn't work that way, but, um, I don't know. I just need to do it, but I waste time doing other stuff. I know I should, but I don't know what my deal is. Like I, in my notebook, I have everybody written down, but it's really hard for me to do it. Um, you know, on the computer and I know I need to, and I need to start, you need to do this too. start collecting emails mm -hmm. um, because that's like the main reason I even want to do it is because Chalene says collect emails, collect emails. So the reason I started doing it is like, Oh, I need to collect emails. But then I found that I was doing it and not collecting emails. So I would definitely, when you get people um, to add you from Instagram to Facebook, get their email as soon as they like, add you on um, Facebook is what I would do but like something I've been working on too and that's why I have the um, that category it says like name and then it says first name because when I send mass email merges to these people I'm not gonna have it say like oh hey April McDonald like, <laughs> thank you for like you know so uh, if you do name it'll just say April and it's not gonna say like their full name so that's why I have that. Um, and I have used it for emails, but mostly for like coaches or people who are my beach body contacts that I have um, the yeah. emails for, but yeah, I need to start collecting more emails. That's the, that's the thing that like the snippets, I have the snippets for my welcome email and my other three emails I send for coaches and I haven't done any of the other snippets and I need to, that just stresses me out. I know it would help, but I don't know. Yeah. We'll but, just pick a day and get those things done on your, your should do list. I know. Like <laughs> this is my like planner at any given time. I, I can be organized on paper and then like everything goes out the window on the computer. So yeah. Well, I mean, if the pen and paper works for you, then, then I would keep doing it. But I know, like you said, it's something you like, you know, you have to do because your business is growing so rapidly that eventually the pen and paper is going to not be enough for that. But I mean, I wouldn't stress out too much about it. Maybe I know Shalene always does say too, if you can pay someone to do something better than you can, you should. Um, no, I'm not saying like you have to, but I mean, I'm paying someone to do my taxes because I can't do them and I'm not going to waste my time trying to like organize and sort everything out when I know somebody else can do it better than me. So I'm going to pay them to do it. So oh, speaking of taxes, I have this thing. It's called neat receipt. You like scan your receipts and it puts it into an Excel for you. And it like reads the amount and money and everything because your tax accountant doesn't like you just be like, here's my shoe box. So I do that and then organize it into categories and then I have them do it. And it's a lot easier. Oh my God. I need one of those. I know what I'm asking for Christmas now. I know my mother <laughs> gave it to me. I was like, yes, that's awesome. Cause I'm so like, I have all my receipts in an envelope, but they're just in an envelope. And now I need to go through all of them and figure out like all of this stuff, which is going to be a pain. So that's, that's super helpful. Thanks for sharing that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wait, I think would Emmy say the whiteboard. 
All right, yeah, did you want to talk about the whiteboard, Emmy? I just based mine off of, I think it was like one of the first videos you ever made going over your whiteboard method. Yeah. So like, I'm the same way with streak. When I'm on my game with it, then it's really helpful, but then I'll forget about it for like a week. Right now it's hugely out of date. So I kind of use a combination. Like I still have my whiteboard, which I have my top 20 people keeping track of them on there. Just because for me, I walk past it all the time. So it's easier to remember to update it. So like that's kind of my backup and that's always up to date. And streak is like, what's it called? Like a, a may do. That's like a may do. Whiteboard is a must. Mm -hmm. so I just use them both. And I still do pen and paper too. So I'm just like all over the place. That's what I do too. I have all three. I'm like, what, can I just like, yeah. I don't think I'm writing everything three times. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I know what you mean. You just got to do what works for you. That's, that's the main thing. Like you don't have to change what you're doing if it's working, but if you have something today, if something, if something, if something oh, oh, that was weird. That was weird. <laughs> Why am I echoing? Why am I echoing? You're not for me. Uh, uh. Hey, Carolyn. Hey, Carolyn. I think it's you. I think it's you. Hold on. Hold on. Why is it doing that? Did you have a question? Yeah, my thing said the free meeting's going to end in 10 minutes, like five minutes ago. What do I do? You're fine. It's just going to lock us out because I'm too cheap to pay for the full version. So we oh, have okay. three minutes left. <laughs> we could talk for six more minutes that's all okay i just i don't know if it cuts me out or if you guys kept well, going or you're good it's okay yeah <laughs> sorry it's okay does anyone have any other questions or anything that i could help you with while we're all on here no i haven't made like any posts yet like i feel like i'm slacking but like i I, like I told you, like I wanted to like learn everything first. Is that bad? Yeah. Or? I mean, we didn't even have your GSR call yet, so I wouldn't. Uh, okay, so I'm okay. <laughs> You're good. I'm like sitting at work thinking, like, um, stressing out because I haven't like posted anything yet. Nope. So, okay. You're good. Don't worry about it, girl. Okay. You gonna show us your moves, Mason? Did you clean your face? <laughs> He's so freaking cute. If you haven't seen her video, if you haven't seen Samantha's um, size video and you want to laugh your ass off, you need to go watch it. Her, oh my God, he's so freaking cute. Not, not at Sam's dancing at her little boy. Her dancing was on point. Just. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we have five minutes left if anyone has any more questions. Well, the cat's saying hello. <laughs> oh, well, it's you. I didn't know who it was. I just saw a cat. <laughs> no? Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Matt wanted to introduce PETA to everybody, I guess. Oh. Oh, yeah. She's a little chunker. <laughs> Nothing? No questions? Does anyone want to share anything? Like anything that you're doing really well, that you did really well, you want to share with everyone? We have four minutes. <laughs> no? Okay. Well, if nobody else has any more questions, I don't want to keep you too long. It's I just like to make sure everyone um, has a chance to ask questions if they have any. And um, I hope that you found some of my tips useful like i said it's not you yeah, don't have to do it all um you just have to do what works for you so if anything stood out to you then that you'd like to you'd like to use and you have any more questions like after we get off the call and maybe if you're trying to set up your streak and if you decide to feel free to ask me i also have three videos i made about streak that shows you like how to set it up how I use it and then like the new features where you can do check boxes and stuff like that. But if it overwhelms you, like don't do it. Like that that's what I'm trying to say. If it's too much, don't worry about that and just focus on doing the things that you need to do every day to move your business forward. So at the end of the day, if you can look at what you did and you can ask yourself, did I take the steps forward to moving my business today? Like if 
I always ask myself this too. Like if my coaches did what I did today, would they be moving themselves forward? And if I can't say like, yeah, they'd be moving themselves forward, then I didn't do something that I should have been doing today. So like, I'm not going to lie to you. I was driving all over the place today and I typically like to do five, three ones at least two to three times a day. I did five, three ones like half a time today. So that was one thing that I didn't do today. So tomorrow I will just make up for that and do more. That's kind of like how my schedule works, but I try to stay on track as much as I can because when I had a full-time job, like I said, I was more productive. And then when I didn't, I had all this time and I didn't know how to organize myself. So having a schedule really helps. And if you are working full-time, your schedule won't look exactly like mine. And if you are a stay-at-home mom, like your working time will probably be nap time. It's not going to be the same time as mine. So when I, I like to wake up early, I wake up at six and the first thing I do, I get my personal development done and then I do uh, my workout. So those are the two things I always make sure I get done first because it gets me in the right mindset to do the rest of uh, my things. So you just need to find what works the best for you. Um, and that's really the main thing about organization. It's really what works for you. Um, but then we're going to get cut off in a little bit because like I said, I'm too cheap to pay for the full version. So I'm going to let you guys go and have a good night. And if you have any other questions after this call, I know like sometimes you don't have one now, but you might later just message me and thanks for, for joining. Thanks for the meeting. No problem. <laughs> I'll see you later. All right. Bye. Bye. bye.